tonight I'm doing my next what not live auction today is Friday February 17th so tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time I'm gonna have an auction of comic books Bronze Age and Funko Pops so if you've never participated in one of my live auctions I auction exclusively live on the whatnot app there'll be a QR code on the screen right now and there's a link below in the description box download whatnot whatnot is the number one clickables marketplace to buy and sell in the world the fastest growing platform right now in the world so with all my auctions i do live auctions where you can communicate with me one-on-one -on -one. i answer questions tell stories sell pops i do giveaways they're a lot of fun and if you use my qr code on the screen or the description box link you'll save 15 bucks on your very first purchase doesn't matter if you buy from me or another live seller you'll save 15 bucks so your first pop your first comic could be completely free with my link or my qr code so i'll see you tonight 6 p.m eastern time only on the whatnot app come and hang out you don't even have to buy anything just come and hang out you might win a giveaway you might walk out with a free pop ship to you you never know I'll see you tonight, 6 p.m. So today, we actually have the Chrono Toys $150 High Roller Funko Pop Mystery Box. So this was sold, I think, early February, right? Yeah, the first week of February. So here's the full details. Actually, hold on. We gotta do an appetizer first. What am I doing? So to start the video, to warm it up for the more expensive box, we've got one appetizer this is a mystergrail.com funko pop mystery box outside of here there if i don't drop it there is one funko pop that comes in a brand new set box pop pop shield pop protector you'll get candy and a scratch off card you win bonus prizes tokens t-shirts gift cards pop armors ready to do this the pop you're, you're not guaranteed any kind of value you're just guaranteed a pop it could be worth five bucks it could be worth 500 bucks they always sell between 1500 to like 1750 bucks every sunday so they sell a lot of boxes there's usually like three mega grails and then like 50 like grails so the odds hit a grail is very very slim it's like less than one percent chance it can happen I've never hit the Mega Grail, but people have. It's today the day. You ready? Grail? Not a Grail, but I'll take it. There we go. Got an exclusive. I got the Diamond Collection Funko Shop exclusive. Princess Jasmine. Get off my finger. Princess Jasmine. That's a cool one. Diamond Collection. Funko Shop exclusive. Princess Jasmine. Disney Pop. That's not bad. We got candy. We have two of the Tootsie Fruities. And we have the scratch off card. We win bonus prizes. We'll do the scratch off card first. I want to see what I won. And nice. 500 extra bonus tokens used on the website. Uh, you can actually cash this in right now for a t shirt. You can get a t shirt for 400 tokens. So this is actually worth a free t shirt right now. Here we go. Let's see the PPG value of Princess Jasmine. Funko Shop exclusive. I'm not too sure if this pop is vaulted. It is a three-year-old pop, so it actually it might be vaulted. Find here in just a second. It, it is vaulted. It's vaulted. This is coming in. PPG value, $25. I did okay. This cost me 15 plus shipping. I got a vaulted Disney pop worth $25. So even with shipping costs, I'm still up on this pop. So it might be a good sign for that Chrome Toys box. That box might be an absolute home run. Let's find out. Chrono Toys, you ready for this? Limited time event, Chrono Toys High Roller Plus $150 Grail Mystery Box. It says each box includes three to four rare pops. Weight wise, there's probably four pops in there, I'm guessing. It says limit of only one per customer. Chrono Toys, they usually put pretty good value into their boxes, especially the more expensive boxes. They had a this box is 150 limit one per customer. Also had a box that was $300 limit one per customer. Wish I could have gotten more than one though. But there are no teaser picks. They don't tell you top hits. You're going in blind buying these, which can be a little bit scary sometimes. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing telling you what the big hits are. They don't tell you guaranteed value. Nothing. 
So if you like a true blind mystery box with you don't even know what's even possible. You don't even know if you're even guaranteed your money back. But you're almost always guaranteed overvalue with Chrono Toys. Ready to do this though? Three to four pops per box. Oop, that tape. There we go. Tape is kind of getting loose on top of that box. Is it double box? I think it is. Yep, double box. What the top of that thing say? Three one two seven two equals six. It must be some kind of like code for them for inventory or something, maybe. Okay, wait. This cord here's a little more weight to it. A little bit. Maybe not. Here we go. Three to four pops per box. High roller mystery box. So they just reused one of their old like shipper boxes that had a case of Mickey Mouse pops in it. No peeking. Don't want to look. Bubble wrap on top. Let me get the bubble wrap off. There we go. Four pops in here. All four are in soft pop protectors, so I have no idea which one's going to be the big hit. Just got to pull them out one at a time, see what I got. First one. Ooh, I see an SDCC sticker on that one. We have Stranger Things SDCC 2017 Mr. Clark. We got a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. That's not bad right there. Stranger Things pops are doing nothing but going up in value. Very, very popular TV show. I think the final season's not coming out until I think 2024, right? Last I heard, it won't be out until next year. So there's going to be about close to like a two-year span between last season and the final season. But hey, that's awesome right there. I have no idea of value on Mr. Clark. I have no idea. 2017? six-year-old pop right there you ready pop number two back says batman we have oh another con sticker dang we have the interplanetary batman once again 2017 sdcc that's the con sticker version wow we're getting all con stickers these aren't shares there these are the actual convention stickers impressive right there Two con stickers. Okay, pot number three. The back says Vegeta. Which one is this? Oh, the gold chrome Vegeta. This one I've gotten so many times. When this thing first came out, you remember this pop? They were selling for about $200. This pop was freaking crazy when it first came out. Sales in this thing were just incredible. But 2018 Toy Tokyo SDCC stickered. I think now it's worth like 25, 30 bucks. It's absolutely plummeted in value since it came out. But if you remember, if you're buying pops back in 2018, this pop was freaking e electrically hot. I had I, I had several of these. I got at retail and I, and I flipped them for 200 bucks a piece very easily. Some people were getting more than that for those for the first probably three or four months. You ready? Pop number four. We're right there for 150. I think I'm doing good right there. Last one. The back says bleach. We have. Oh, sweet. Fully holified Ichigo, the glow chase. <laughs> That's pretty impressive right there. That's not bad. Wow. Let's see PPG value. First pop. Super Cyan Vegeta Gold Chrome SDCC coming in at $33. Like I said, this thing used to sell for over six times that amount when it first came out. But $33 still, that's not bad. Pot number two, the Foley Holified Ichigo Bleach Glow in the Dark Chaser Entertainment Earth Exclusive coming in at $50. Bucks. Well, during this video, Hobby DB has gone down service unavailable right now <laughs> good job hobby db and i checked funko app and funko app is giving only the value for the share sticker not the con sticker so i can't even go by the funko app 
and hobby db it seems like every single time or not every single time at least once a month when i'm recording a video hobby db goes down during the video so i can't look these up right now <laughs> i can't look them up i have to cut in during the editing of this video i guess i'll flash on the screen right now this pop is worth okay and this pop is worth okay and the total value is i don't know what it is right now but it's on the screen i'll put it in during the editing phases video so that's the total value of this box but just these two first pops i was able to look up before the app crashed and doesn't work anymore for some reason once again these were worth like what over 80 bucks and i'm guessing these two were worth way over 70 so this is over a guaranteed value box so I'm happy with these pops. And at home, if you're wanting to know how to get yourself your very own pop shield pop protectors to protect pops just like these, let me drill down below to sendboxpop.com. Make sure you check them out. That's who I use for all of my pop protectors for all of my Funko Pops. So I'll see you tonight, 6 p.m. for my next Whatnot Live Funko Pop auction. This video was brought to you by the Whatnot app. Download the free Whatnot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. Funko Pops, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.